Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another session of Mass Effect Legendary Edition, a blind playthrough. And we have done all the side missions, I believe. Uh, we've got, well, I say done them all. We've got a load of fetch quests that are still to do. I've done all of the ones that I've found so far of the uh, various different actual missions that I'd say. We've got to find one keeper, which is going to take a long time. Four league medallions, a whole host of different metals, and one Prothean artifact or data disc. So, we've done that for quite a while, done side missions for quite a while, so today we are going to do Vermeer, Vermeer. You've received word that a Salarian reconnaissance team on Vermeer, we'll say, has information about Saren. The message was unclear and the council fears the team is in danger. Head to Vermeer and rendezvous with the Salarian team. So this is the one that came through a little bit garbled. Um, sort of some ambiguity as to what it actually meant. All we know is that it was sent on the channel used for extremely important messages. So, hopefully it's not been time-based, because I left that to last. Uh, Vermeil, all the way up there. In the Century Omega. Hock. Hock being the only place here, I believe. Well, actually, there might be a couple of bits to find in here, actually, so I might end up doing uh, some fetch questy goals whilst in this settlement, settlement system. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're going to be heading down. I've got to think of what team, because this could be one of the last missions. If not the last mission, so... I feel like Rex I've got the best um, equipment for. He's definitely got the best shotgun, the hamper, and he's got the best armor, which is just some badass black and red rage armor. Um, but if it's going to be the last mission, kind of want to bring the two that I've had through quite a lot of this. Uh, Ashley and Caden, my, uh, my little human twosome. The OGs, if you exclude Jenkins. Yeah. Ooh, nice looking planet. Lots of water, which we haven't seen much of. If any of, actually. Uh, Vermeer is a lush frontier world, ideal for colonization by carbon-based species. Its vast seas and orbital position on the inner life zone have created a wide equatorial band of humid tropical terrain. Unfortunately, the political instability of the nearby terminus systems has impeded colonization efforts. The high risk of raids by pirates and slavers making an unappealing homestead. Okay. Well, I mean, a year is 9.2 Earth years. A day is 22 human uh, Earth days. Surface temperature, 32 Celsius. I mean, so surface temperature is essentially an extremely hot day in England. Probably an average day elsewhere. And surface gravity being 0.86G. G. I assume 1G is like the... The, the basic one, the Earth's one, so 0.86, we get to jump a little bit further, maybe. Um, Tally, Garrus, Rex, Liara, I've got to go with these two, right from the beginning, the, the messed up xenophobe and the Mr. Boring, M M Mr. Mr. Always on the right track. You, you know what you're getting with Caden, you're getting a dull example and a dull sort of explanation on what's going on but I like that it means you're never gonna have a bad day with him you're gonna be mr. consistent so we've got Ashley Caden and Shepard commander I'm reading team a signal human. must be our Solarian infiltration team oh good check out those defense towers drop the Mako we'll go in hot and take them up I'll get you in underneath their radar commander Okay, so we've stealthed in. Got a clean drop, Commander. <laughs> Don't get cocky, kid. 
No, good job, Joker. I'm always going to reward good flying. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joker out. I said good job and all I did was give him more orders. I kind of wanted to say, hey, man, good job. Uh, I'm guessing that's the way we're meant to go. So naturally, we go backwards. Let's see if there's... Nope, there's a dead end. Nothing around here. Anything in here? Other than terrible driving? Come on, round the corner. Oh, hello. This is a path. A path to nowhere. Okay, I've learned my lesson. Mass Effect is not that sort of game. I was going to look behind every waterfall and go around every corner, but maybe not. So, we have got... Whoa, hey, hey. Oh, look at you having some fun in the water. You weird... Sort of spinning top crab. Look <laughs> at just spinning... You spin me right round, baby, right round. Oh, what a stupid planet this is already. Uh, okay, well, I kind of... They're not the red things on the map, so I kind of want to avoid them if I can. I don't want any of them to die. I like to be a conservationist whenever possible. It, <laughs> just realised. Except for the Rachni Queen. Um, that was uh, more of a galactic safety than anything else. Okay, we've got... Ah, I almost blew up the crab. So we've got geth things here. Oh, hello, geth drone. Die. Okay, it's just basic defences, it seems. Nah! Fucking... Get out of the way of the rockets, you... You alive? You're alive. Good. Yeah, you're fine. You die. You can die. I don't know if I get some sort of achievement or uh, some unlockable by uh, rescuing all of the different things, but. No! 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 I killed a crab! Oh no! It'd be like the way of destroying the Geth is by unifying all of the crabs on the planet, and now I can't get that ending. Oh, his name was Jeffrey. He had a wife and two kids. Not anymore. Oh, shut up. I think I've inadvertently just killed like five more in that melee, but... In for a penny, in for a pound, if I'm going to be blowing these things up. Fucking... Yeah, I don't want to jump on one, that just seems unnecessarily mean. I thought that Caden and Ashley have no opinions on these crabs at all. Uh -huh. Hello. Damn it. So they're up on there. I wonder if I can kill a few with splash damage. Nope. I mean, we, we can head through. I kind of want to head up there, though, just see if there is anything. There seems to be a couple of red dots, so... Let's test out our guns, guys. We've got the Karpov 9 on Caden. The Kovalyov 9 on Ashley. And the Hamupa. Hello? Okay. Overload Geth Sniper. Yep, we got him. It's always nice being able to take down the uh, 
Oh, sort of. Always nice being able to take down the shields and then just pull these guys in one hit. Oh my god, these things are annoying. Sabotage? Can I sabotage you? Okay. Nice. Okay. Hardened weapon locker. Well, no. Okay, yep. Yep. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Just leave the last one for you. You guys need the practice. Damn it. Damn it. There we go. Shotgun. Armageddon 10. I mean, if you're going to have a shotgun, that's what you call it. Who here is using shotguns? I mean, Ashley can kind of use anything, so... Armageddon 8, uh, 7. So let's just replace it with the Armageddon 10. And if we get into close combat with any Krogan or uh, large Geth, we can make a switch to the... Make a switch to the shotgun for the more closer range stuff. Of course, me and Caden are far too sophisticated to be using such a thing such as a boomstick, so we are just using the more agile pistols. He's got biotics, I've got tech, and Ashley is a one-woman killing army, so... Nope, nope, bad. There you go. There we go, perfect. Okay, oh, that's a camel. That's a colossus camel. Yep, just sweep the leg, Johnny. Come on. Don't within the face. I'm not sure how much damage that's actually doing. I'm on it. There you go. That's... I love the ragdoll physics in this. It's just so pathetic. This is the strongest Geth creation known to man. Boop. Geth armatures here. Come on. There we go. Right, uh, which way to go? Guess we'll go this way. Hello. Not really sure sort of what we're heading towards here. We're sort of going along this lovely coastal road. Assuming we're looking for some Solarians, another Colossus. Hello. We can die now. Stay down. It would be a little different if we were actually able to... If we were damaged every time we ran into it. But it does sort of make it a nice... Well, let's, let's go for some XP. Let's just try and kill this one as well. Got the uh, mission thing the other side, but... May as well try and get a nice chunk of XP. Still need to finish off my Renegade and Paragon choices. But ah, oh, that's the anti-air guns. There's the artillery that's keeping the Normandy at bay. There we go. Hello. <laughs> well, that's some XP. Right. Let's get going to free the Normandy from the grasps of the air cannons. A bit of overload on you. Okay, cool. Nicely done. Death Destroyer! No, no, no! No, no! Can I hack you? Yes! You are hacked! You're now my friend! Be my friend! Okay, we've got a new weapon against Geth Destroyers now, then. We can just be friends. Oh, okay, there's, there's, there's two. Yep, there's two. Okay, we're good. We're good. But the, net, the new plan for Geth Destroyers. Make friends with them. 
does seem like I am able to hack them. A Razor and a Raikou. I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Out. Cool. Okay. Ready to move out, Commander. Uh, so the gates now open. Vehicle gates open. Okay, that's everything. So we've got the anti-air guns down. Normandy is going into the Solarian base. They actually have a base set up, which is quite impressive. I was expecting some rogue outfit. Maybe being underground or... But we are on the way. More red dots around right there. Oh, hello. Normandy, give us some air support, would you? No, oh, no, 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 no. The scenery is very... Am I back at the beginning? Oh no, <laughs> that's mean. Okay, we'll be right back. And we're back with the Normandy going over and me now not going to be sightseeing with the Normandy and not going to be uh, staring up at the sky while I drive along the incredibly dangerous roads of Vermeer. Uh, and instead, we are now, uh, I believe, destroying another barricade between us and the Solarian base. Damn geth. Ow. Stupid rocket. that. There is a guess at the end of that hallway. It's running. It's running. It's coming towards me. If I hide around here... Gonna... Yeah, Ashley, you kill it. <laughs> now, nah, woo, way, hey, hey, ho, oh, hang on. Let's just chat about this for a second. I'm going to run away while you guys kill it. Good job, guys. Never, always had faith in you. Never doubted you for a second. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so the destroyers come in pairs. Oh, hard decryption. I'll take that. Storm, Armageddon, and Lancer. That's the last one. We should be able to reach the Solarian camp. Okay, cool. So get to see what these Solarians have cooked up. Under heavy siege, I'm guessing, because the uh, transmission was garbled. So, we'll get to see. I'm guessing if we've got the Mako here, we're going to be in for one hell of a battle. Camels everywhere. rather than this lovely, peaceful ride that I am being so careful not to drive off the edge of. Commander, Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. Okay. That's fine, I don't mind. The game glitched a little bit there. Okay, not single road going down here. Oh! There's the Solarian camp. Is it just me or is this just a really nice, pleasant place to be? So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. What the hell is going on here? Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. Good to you meet and you. your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. 10 miles, so we can't even just go around and disable them. How the hell is 
Joker going to get in it? Oh no, well, I guess he's in here, he can't leave. Oh, are you kidding me? That's just great. What now? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. Ah. Uh, yeah, the message was unclear. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. Is he here? Have you seen him? Go take no, down Saren. but his Geth are everywhere and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. This is his facility. There's no doubt about that. Uh, yeah, I mean, what's he doing? What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. Oh, 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 no, not in his hands. I'll take that. What's so important about curing this genophage? Oh, well, that's not what I meant. It was the solution to the Krogan problem. Yeah. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. Uh, we have to stop it. I don't necessarily want to stop it. Can we talk to the Krogan? Be like, hey, like you've got the genophage. Like, you go. Sorry, you got the cure to the genophage. Join us and just kill him now. You've got it. Unless he's keeping it under wraps. I don't want to say we have to stop this, because obviously Rex is right there. Things just got worse. It's true, but I'm just, just going to yell, swear into the sea. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army, he'd be almost unstoppable. Oh, yeah, that too. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. Yeah, we'll take the cure. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We Ooh. are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. Uh, uh, well, well, it's funny, actually. The renegade option is not your problem. My legitimate answer was going to be, yeah, your problem, not mine. Like, I'm on his side here, like... I am so against the genophage, it is unreal. The method that they use is barbaric. So, I want to cure it, 100%. And if he's got the cure in there, we'll take it out. Even if we have to turn around to this guy and say, no, you know, we're on your side. I'm going to do whatever it takes inside to get the cure. Um, He'll listen to me. Yeah, he's going to listen. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'll just have a little chat I'd with him. I appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Hmm. That's fine. Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. I've got to talk to Rex. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Will do. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's going to blow a gasket. Yeah, I mean, I can talk him. I can talk to him, I guess. You think I should go talk to him? Well, it yeah. wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. Yeah. Just be ready in case things kick off. I mean... I'm not going to say I'm not scared of him, because he's a Krogan. And I am scared of him. They're fucking huge. Um... You're right. Yeah, just... I'll be careful, but be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. Yeah. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. I don't like the way Rex is behaving. He's really on edge. He's fine. So the anti air guns. Ooh. Oh, I know the uh, ship's there, so it can't be the anti air, but. I'm concerned about Rex. Can we still trust him? Hey, stop sowing the seeds of discontent. He's fine. The upcoming battle frightens me. But I know Saren must be stopped. 
everyone's here. They're just standing around, even the people I've not picked in my team. That just makes me think this, this really is the end here, isn't it? Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you Let me see what you have. Yeah. What little there is. Come on, show me what you got. Uh, Hammer 10, Hurricane 10, Banshee 9. I mean, we'll go for that and we'll definitely get the Metagel upgrade. Um, I mean, at this point, we may as well just buy them and just... There you go, man. Just enjoy. Hello again, human. If you need supply... No, we goodbye, are all good. Human. Speak with the captain when you're ready to go. I'm just briefing my men. I suggest you do the same. I don't need to brief my men. My men are good. You know the best of my men? Ashley. The mission will succeed. The captain will not have it any other She'll outman any men you've got, so... I've been on this mission far too long. My brood won't even recognize me. Did Salarians grow beards? Comes back with a big shaggy grey beard. I am worried that Rex's allegiance to you may be waning. Bitch, your allegiance to me is waning. We better Rex succeed, is an human. infallible... We still feel the toll of the Krogan Rebellion. Okay. Can we just chill with the hatred of the Krogans a minute? Miara, you're still sus in my book. For pretty much no reason, but... Everyone else needs to just chill the hell out. Rex, my man. Let's have a chat. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. I completely understand. Calm down, Rex. I'm not the enemy here. Saren's the one you should be mad at. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. No. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. No, no, no. Hang on. You, you, you can't be serious. You're actually turning on me. I here. shouldn't have to explain that to you, Rex. Indulge me. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Oh, whoa, hey, 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 hey. Put it away. This, oh, wow, okay. I wouldn't do this otherwise, but he's a Krogan. He respects power, strength. We're going to have to try and alpha the situation and try and make him buckle down. This is not up for debate. Stand down. All you need to know is that I'm giving you an order to fall in line. Military rank. That's it. All this time, and that's all I get from you. How can you not see what this means I to the do. Krogan? I this do. base can't be destroyed. I won't allow it. Signal Ashley to kill Rex. What? I don't know. Why is that even an option? Hey, girlfriend, take the shot for me. No, 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 Ashley, stand down, Jesus, and I'm not going to shoot Rex either. These aren't your people. They still are. Krogan are still his people, even if they are bred for Saren. Gotta be, don't be so naive, we're going to try to power ourselves out. Saren doesn't care about these Krogan. They're tools, puppets. He'll destroy them as soon as they're no longer useful to him. Is that what you want for your people? No, we were tools for the Council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard, you've made your point. I don't like this, but Ooh. I trust you enough to follow your lead. Thank you. Just one thing, when we find Saren, I want his head. You can have his head, you can have his groin to kick repeatedly. Oh, man. Okay. If we're doing this, then let's go. Yeah, alright, man. Look, you almost got killed by Ashley. 
I'm not being funny. If Ashley could have taken you, I, I mean, that's an even fight, really. So, I mean, you could end up killing each other, and no, no. We're all going home, guys. That's, that's the main thing here. So, we have managed to talk down Rex. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe the shouting at him was the way to go. I'm still taken aback by signal to Ashley to kill Rex. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. You've got a plan. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Thank you, Ashley. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Okay, where? Don't need to say this sounds difficult. This whole thing sounds difficult. Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. Sounds risky, but I like it. Mainly because my shepherd is quite adept at getting the job done and sacrificing people. It's the kind of job where we don't have enough men to get all of them out, but if we get the job done... Good. I prefer a straight fight anyway. It won't be that simple. We just don't have the numbers to meet them head on. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. I mean, I want to say it works for me, but I don't want to be that callous. Um, <laughs> it, it, that might work. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. <laughs> That's a good joke, Salarian. That's a very good joke. No. I don't make a habit of placing my people under someone else's command. I understand that this mission is too important for personal preferences to get in the way. He's right, Commander. We can't do this without both teams at their best. Stand the fuck I volunteer. down. volunteer. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Salarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Shut the fuck up, Marines! Stop volunteering yourselves! Okay, well, yeah, Captain, who do you want? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Yep, less of the sacrificing, please. Okay. So this is just limiting who I can take on my mission, then. So... I, I want to say, give them Caden, because Ashley's got the better um, gear. But we're going to do this roleplay-wise, which is they're going through the trenches. They're, they're going to need survivors, people that will be able to fight as the underdogs and maintain the safety of their, their team, which is pretty much what Ashley was doing when we first met her. Okay, her team were dead, so she's not good at it, but she was a survivor. She stayed alive. Caden... He's my second in... No, Presley's the XO. But Caden's up there as, as my guys. He definitely outranks um, Ashley. So he can come with me. Yeah, he can come with me. So you can take Ashley. Because you're going to need fighters. With all due respect, Salarian, you're kind of spindly. However, let's just take a moment. Because I've had nothing... But, and mainly from me, that these two are technically meant to be the boring ones. They're the humans. The aliens are 100% more interesting. However, from a roleplay perspective, the Salarians needed someone. They didn't ask for anyone. 
They said, we need someone. And the only two people that volunteered were Ashley and Caden. Where's Rex? He's having a tantrum by the lake. Where's Garrus? He's doing something, I don't know, probably chasing more organ donors. Tally's there tinkering away like an artificer. And Liara's just, I don't know, flirting with someone, because apparently that's what she does five seconds after meeting you. Doing some Prothean archaeology and just doing some rubbish. But these two, eyes on the prize. Kind of wish I could let you have uh, Tally or... Uh, probably not Tally. No, I'll probably give Liara. She's probably my least favourite. Um, but I will, out of these two, allow you to take Ashley. Because I think she's going to come back. Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordnance yep. loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? No heroics, Ashley. Just get back. Don't sacrifice yourself for them. The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. Wow, okay, ready to sacrifice. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. Okay, uh, yeah, what are, you said there were three teams? Shadow seems clear enough. What will the other teams be called? Eigor, Manavai, and Jeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Salarian territory to this day. Cool. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. That's fair. Don't need you to recap the mission. I know what we're doing. Don't want to seem... I don't want to seem like an idiot in front of the captain. So, uh, talk to me about this nuke that we're dropping off and whether or not it's going to kill us all. I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. Okay, if it's based on the person arming it, we've got uh, myself as an engineer, Tally, who's a quarry and nerd, and Garrus is pretty tech-savvy. So, yeah, we got we got people. I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do this. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Of course. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Okay. Yeah, what is it? Like, you want to say something? Is there something you want to say, Chief? I, I don't know. It's just weird. Going under someone else's command... I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry. We'll see you on the other side. I know. I... It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. Whoa! Hang on. You're not saying goodbye. Jesus. Uh... Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you're helping them. You're not under their command, although I'm sure they'll have a team leader that it's, it's safer and more efficient to follow. Nah, you're right. Uh, we're a team. The power of friendship. Be ready is boring. Nah, oorah, Marine. Let's kick ass. Whatever happens, everyone just keeps shooting. We go in hard, hit them harder, and we'll be the only damn thing that comes out the other side. You bet, Commander. Oorah! You all know the mission, and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent... I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glorying in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. The silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. 
Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. <laughs> Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. You've got me hyped. Oh, that was a cool speech. Oh, I don't like seeing that, though. We will hold the line. That's all they're doing. They're holding the line. We're the ones going in. Okay, Rex. Is that a good idea? If he's breeding Krogans, if I bring in... In terms of combat, if I bring in my own Krogan, it's better. Caden. He volunteered. That means a lot. I know I didn't pick you, but it's because I value leadership from you. You are my second in command out here. Whereas Ashley Object. is Do you read me, Commander? Marine. Affirmative. Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Okay. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Chief Williams, with the Igor team. Manovai, Jayato teams, move. But Time to get some attention. I... Okay, hang on. I want the hamper. You can have the Karpov, and Rex can have the, the hands shotgun. I don't know why we started off like that. Never used a sniper rifle in my life. Monovai is under coordinated crossfire. Check for long-range turrets helping the guest target. Take some of these out. Okay. Let's try and just bum rush them. And pray there's no distro. Oh, whoa, hello. Okay, sure. Yeah, why not? Hey, join me. Uh, <laughs> what the? <laughs> sail away, sail away, sail away. Oh, that was brilliant. Probably should have been more focused on the combat there, but that was great. I love it when the ragdoll physics goes slightly wrong. Okay, we're good. Stiletto, scimitar, and harpoon. Triangulation tower disrupted. Geth communications disrupted. Got two paragon points for it. I am actually going to save now because uh, sick and tired of redoing this level every time I die. Okay, well, we've... Uh, Discombobulated communications. Something scrambled, they're targeting. We've got a shot. Chief Williams, take the heat off Manavai. That based of it. Okay. There we go. Always check behind the waterfalls. So, uh, that computer tower, uh, that computer thing was uh, the communications hub, which is one of the things that I need to do, so I've got to look out for them. Try and uh, confuse the array of geth forces. They're calling sat strikes. Jayetto, watch for comm stations. Williams, can you see anything? Satellite uplift disrupted. Okay, I mean, I just threw a grenade in there, but yeah, sure. Why not? I also did another good thing. And there he goes again. Goodbye. 
Okay, well, that's a, a nice little combination we've got going on there, guys. We're uh, one of you. I can't remember who it is. Ah, you. Oh, wait. Neural Duck. All fall down. Oh, my God, the regeneration on this is fucking stupid. Jesus. Got a, uh, mission. We have a mission marker there. There's no below it. Above it? Aid station. Okay. Maybe I should look a little longer, but I can't find anything. Could be under there. Maybe I'll circle around to it. But uh, satellite aircraft uplink. heading to perimeter stations to recharge. Bunker up before they come back. Get destroyed. Come on, move out. I'm getting move. Alright. Go to the Geth Destroyer. Who is currently in a wall. And now we've flipped off down there. Somewhere. Pretty sure he's underneath us. Oh, there he is. Hello. You guys have got to stop throwing people around. There you go. Um, lots of little discs here. Oh shit! Uh, Geth flyer looks like it's stuck refueling. Geth flyer is destroyed. We should take it out before it can go off the Chief Williams and the others. Was that another thing I was supposed to do? Cool. Okay, so yeah, you're just going around trying to find as much as possible. Let's see if we can get any more bits. Air threat is not materialized. We may be getting some help from Shadow. Yes, you are. Lots and lots of help from Shadow. Long range overload over there, I think, is needed. That's a Krogan. Die. I can't find my gun. Shit. Stop. Free. Growing health and limbs. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Fly. <laughs> Fly the fuck away. Do that. We have a floating Krogan. I feel that's a problem. Oh, the floating crow gonna stop. Okay, that was a temporary floating Krogan problem. Nice, whoever took that shot. Okay. Going around, we've still got some... Yeah, we've got this whole area here to, to look at, I think. Facility entrance. Must be. I want to try to get down, actually. I can! Facility entrance down here, maybe. Ooh, here we go. Super secret Shadows entrance. Must be getting close. Hold the line, men. Hold the line. Hold the line, guys. Who will hold the line? There we go. Super secret entrance, maybe? Or just exactly where you're supposed to go. We're in the sewers. Indoctrinated. want to kill indoctrinated logic arrest tool and the nexus. 
now they're indoctrinated. But they're Salarians. Ah, oh, shit. We've got access to base security. Should be able to cut the alarms from here. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for Williams and the Solarians to handle. Hmm. It's just guards. No, I want the XP. I am a murder hobo. Give me more people to kill. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Okay, the red dots had me nervous there. Oh, hello. Oh, tons of stuff. Tons of stuff. Right, we have got... I mean, it's not going to be as good as the uh, ridiculous gun I've got now, is it? Although that comes close, the brawler. And the Karpov 9 is actually more... Oh, you know what? That could actually be better. Yeah. We're dropping the Spectre gear, guys. So, um... Which, which basically means... Oh, you've got the car pop as well. Shit, okay. So, for how long have you had a better weapon than me? Well, let's just get Rex out with a fuck ton of spectre weapons, I guess. There you go, sir. Enjoy. So, now... Oh, that's just way worse. Let's have... Yeah, it's nowhere near as good as the Savant. Uh, Duelist 10, nowhere near as good as the Colossus. But it is better than your survivor. What are you... Oh, that's a badass look, Caden. Joining us with the darker colours. Just need a dash of red in there and you'll be great. But we'll take it, so. Going through Saren's base. Eh, yeah, I don't want to kill him. I'll say I don't want to kill him and then Rex walks in with a shotgun and blows the living shite out of him. But, yep, sure, that's cool too, Rex. Hello? What all you got, bud? Oh. What do you want? I told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I mean, are you okay? Slow down. Like, I need to know where, where you came, came to. Private Maino Savada of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment STG, sir. Captured well on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, sir. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? Fuck no, are you fit to fight? Can you join us? Can you help me, or will I be carrying you out of here? I'll be at your back every step of the way. I just need to get out of here and away from that incessant whispering. They piped it in for days now. Something's not right here, Commander. Well, I can't just leave him. If we don't let him out, he's as good as dead. We have to do something. Yes, leaving here would be bad. Very bad. It's too small and the noise just won't go away. Whispering is loud, you know? I need to get out. Let me out. Yeah, let him Set out. Set him free. Let's go. He could help us. Yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following orders. Good. I should be. I hear them over and over. Why are they repeated when they're so simple? So damn simple! Yeah. But, but, what? Who took the shot? I didn't take the shot. 
Oh, is that them turning on me? Shit. Wait, what? Why do I have a sniper? Neural dirt. Give a little ground, Williams. We don't want them to bunker up. Draw them out. Okay. This place is a goddamn maze. Turn that way, no. Okay. Door open here. So many prison cells. Well, you're not a gat, and you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Gonto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? Okay, right, no, this is a more coherent talking person. I was, yeah, I was sent along. The transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds, but the indoctrination is a greater threat right. and far more horrifying. Okay. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envy them. What can you tell me about the research? Because you are so coherent, it's obviously not had an effect on you, or you've not been there long. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms. Progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. Turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that, please. Let me out. So the guests have a way of basically rendering biological mindsets mute, in a way. Turning people brain dead. Yeah, I'm letting you out. You're coherent. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank yeah. you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. Run for the hills, my friend. No threat here, Commander. Are they even aware of us? Oh, this is no way to treat a prisoner. Kill them, sure. But leave them like this. Oh, uh, if they are just the indoctrinated, it's almost insulting to keep them like this. I know it's extremely harsh and blunt, but that open the door and kill them is kind of what I'm thinking. Basically, put them out of their misery. Better to die than to live like this. Just mow them down, Commander? I'm all for it. Every second like that must be torture. I know I see you. That's my thinking, man. I know that was harsh. That was so very harsh, but... My thinking was that it's an insult to them. Um, I'm not sure what Salarian religious beliefs are. But it can't be that. Uh, is this the way I came? Hang on, let's go back down. See if there is actually a way down there. That's the wrong way. Saren's lab. <laughs> to lab. Okay, yep, that's cool. Uh, to lab. To lab Well, that's no help at all, is it? Go in here, I guess? I genuinely can't remember where I came from because, uh, because of all of these Salarians. Oh. Okay. 
Hello. What? No. I'm not an intruder. Damn you, a sorry scientist. What is going on here? Where are the guards? Where is Sarah? Oh my god, that's a Krogan. Were you the that was the doctor? Y'all got a Krogan doctor in here? I kinda of didn't want to kill him then. Being a Krogan doctor is impressive. Medical station. That's not good. That's much better. Phoenix and Phoenix armor again. They want us to be wearing the pink and white. I'm all for it, but Rex unfortunately got ridiculously good armor. What a GM. We're picking up a lot of good stuff here, and my video game experience, that's not a good thing. It means you're probably going to face a boss fight. What are you, Geth? I'm an engineer. You are literally no threat to me whatsoever, unless you're a chunky destroyer boy. Okay. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. Who the hell are you? Let's hear it. Who are you, and what do you want? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. Tell me what you know. See if we can do a bit of, uh, talk for your life, but actually we don't really give crap about you. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. What the guess you, you helped can him do. and you don't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? You're free. Actually, no, I wanted to... I wanted to have a little bit of intimidation there, just in case she is lying. So, get the hell out of it. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't... But I'll never... Ah! Get you to moving. That. Uh, maybe a little bit. A sorry uh, magic built into them, so forgive me for wanting to just put them in their place a little bit. Where are we going now? I'm half expecting to open a door and just see Saren chilling out on the sofa. Commander, look over here. It's another beacon. Like the one on Eden Prime. Oh shit, okay. Well, let's get down there. Might finish off the uh, message it was giving me. Yeah, come on, give us another vision. Don't kill me. Nothing? Is that it? Saren needs to pay for what he's done to my people. I, I agree, but where the fuck's Caden? Oh, Caden's dead. Oh. 
I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. <laughs> yeah. You are not Saren. You're what a lobster. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence Thanks, so man. far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am sovereign. The ship, the Geth ship was called Sovereign. And you're talking to me directly. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper? A label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither. And die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Right. I mean, wasn't Sovereign ridiculously big? Like, stupidly big. And that's actually a an AI construction. It thinks for itself. You don't scare me. You really do. Um, I'll stop you, but whatever you're your plan is, it's going to fail. I'll make sure of that. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Holy shit, that's insane! So these massive ships, like 50,000 years ago was the Protheans, so like, if the cycle has continued, what, every 50,000 years? You're a million years old? And then you built the mass relays, and that advanced us though, that, that gave us technology we never, probably never would have get, have gotten. Why the hell did you build them? Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. <laughs> we impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us, letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. Right. I mean, that's technically smart, so the mass relays are, in actual fact, the, uh, like, a, like a, a, a stick planted into a plant pot and then attached to the plant to help it grow upwards. Okay. Yeah, why? Like, what the fuck are you getting from this, man? What do you want from us? It's like predators. Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Okay, then. Who created you? Where did you come from? Who built you? How long ago? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of year 
years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. And, I mean, I shudder to ask. How many more? Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. Right. So they're kilometers tall. And there are tons of them. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Did I keep you on the line long enough to trace the call? Commander, we got trouble. <laughs> Great, more shit. Lay it on me, Joker. I love bad news. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. Right. It's coming your way and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This console is shot. Orders, Commander. Let's go set a nuclear bomb. We'll head for the breeding facility. Time to blow this place to hell. Hell yeah, let's... Right, Commander. Try Let's and get out. Joker out. We go in. We plant a bomb. We get out. And that is it. That's literally it. We're doing nothing else. Because we don't need to do anything else. As long as we outrun this... Sovereign. Oh, hello. So Right off. Gath returning from your position, J. I told you. Looks like Shadow picked a sensitive spot. Williams, head them off. Pull them. <laughs> Stupid fucking Krogans. Then mountain of hit points. I'm just shooting Caden in the back of the head. Fly, bitch. Oh, you're not dead! And nailed her. There we go, okay. Got the skills that kills Pro. bunch of stuff and then an average electronics crate a car pov avalanche and hammer okay that turret i don't like turrets whoa hello i think i just ate a turret to the face hello krogan it's like i haven't done for a while is marksman I think I got sniped and rocketed to the face at the same time. Ah, oh, really? Okay. This is fine. This is fine. We know which way to go here. So it should be nice and quick. So, make our way forward here. Easy as pie. The Gath are turning from your position, J. Otto. Looks like Shadow kicked a sensitive spot. Williams, head them off. Hold them.
Take your palm. This is the problem with doing streams after work. I work nights, so my job is uh, literally from... Oh, you're not even dead. Jesus. Uh, yes, my job is... Oh, go on. Sod off. Can I... There you go. Uh, yes, my job is from 10 p.m. 10 p.m. until 6 a.m. Five nights a week. So I come home, get something to eat, and just before I go to bed, it's currently quarter past one in the afternoon. Just before I go to bed, I'll go to bed about two-ish. And then wake up at nine o'clock. So I do apologise for the yawning. Try and edit out as many yawns as I can. Lancer, Avenger and Hammer. You got different guns that time, actually. Okay, so turret that could... Good as new. Yeah, I'm not really as good as new. Give me my fucking shield back. Hey. You're a Krogan. Get the fuck over there. Shield down. Okay, that was one of them. I need to kill you. Let's just pause that and sabotage. Damn, I don't want to walk too far out. Okay, well, these guys should be nice and easy with an overload. Oh, God. Uh, AI hacking. There we go. You are now hacked. There we go. It's always good for hacking, even if it's the last uh, enemy. Just to be able to hack it, stop it attacking you. Oh, yeah. Look out. The bastards Damn it. To hell. There we go. We've got a crossfire harpoon equalizer. Oh, shit. Okay. Good work on the gun, Shadow okay, Team. Good. Now it's our turn. Guess we're going in the elevator then. Look at that, my two biotically charged bros. Bio bros. I can't do biotics because I'm a simple bean. But also, I don't get headaches. So, you know, kind of happy that That's I don't it. do that. We need to clear the gap and set those charges. Okay. Bloody hell. Uh, do a little overload and get the fuck out of there. Nice. Okay. Having Rex and uh, Ashley here is definitely. Set. Everyone bunker down. Bunker down. Out. I'm just waiting for a boss to come up here. No. <laughs> All right. Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, yeah. I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Awesome. Okay. Good lad. Right. So now we can try and put uh, put a nuclear bomb down and set it. Waiting for anyone? Oh shit! <laughs> Okay, yeah, you're actually bringing it down here. Okay, let's deploy the ladybug. Is in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? 
Yeah, get your ass over here, girl. Get your sweet, sweet ass over here. The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. No one gets left behind. I am coming to you. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Negative! Just make sure that nuke is set! We'll hold him as long as we... It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. Where the fuck are you arming it? We got Tally here. She's like a computer expert, I assume. IT support is the same as arming a bomb. You keep that nuke safe. Oh shit. My regular two have been taken out. Okay, um. So that leaves us weaker on. Uh, so we don't really have anyone. We have to. Hit. Oh. Tally. We're gonna come across Geth. Tally can electrocute and hack. Okay, well, I guess we're heading off then. Uh, let's just do a very quick tally count. Yep, it's way worse. Uh, logic arrest. Oh, wow, that's way better. There we go. And you can have a pistol befitting your status. Have a brawler. Okay. Just make sure you all do have the right guns. Oh, I'd rather Tally had a pistol. Tally wasn't yet. Okay, where are we going? Um, <laughs> I'm actually lost. Is it over here? Oh, it is over here. Okay. Yeah. Krogan's Krogan's Geth Ghost. Ugh. Actually, you know what the best thing might be here is to actually AI hack that and then hide. Because if you're going to use that strong shit against me, I'd rather you use it against yourself. Neural dub! Oh my god, I, I neural dub the wrong one. Neural dub the wrong one. Almost shot Rex. Sorry, that's Mike Rogan. Okay, let's get some new. healing. Yep, thank you. That was nasty. And head up. Okay, we need to extract Williams out. I'm going to say this here in front of you two. The Solarians are expendable. As much as I love Kirihi. I think he's amazing. That little hold the line speech. Ashley's my girlfriend. So we are going to be saving her. Get back to Caden and then we'll be able to arm the bomb. Damn. Geth are sending in reinforcements. We can kill him. Heads Let's up, go. LT. We just spotted a troop ship headed to your location. It's already here. There's Geth pouring out all over the bomb site. Can you hold it? Can you hold them off? Yeah. There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. I'm activating the bomb. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell are you doing, Alenko? Everything hasty. I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. Oh no, they are not. No, that's not a choice. No, no. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Oh, okay, okay. 
we're all, we're recording. We have to think of this. Caden is the super, uh, the the higher officer, higher up the chain of command, commanding officer over uh, Ashley. But Ashley's my girlfriend. <laughs> oh no. They both volunteered to sacrifice themselves. I'm guessing it would be the other way round. Oh, they really are making me pick one. By which point we've waited so long that they're both dead now. Okay. Come on, let's think this through. Let's think this through. Caden is the command of the higher officer. He outranks Ashley. Ashley is an adorable, xenophobic, poetry loving mutt that we found on a colony and decided to just buy a new one because it looked a little bit like Jenkins. Everything's saying save Caden. There's no real reason in terms of military choice. Ashley is a Marine. In this context, kind of the lowest of the low. She's a foot, a foot soldier. She's no good in space combat. Can't fire an assault rifle at a Geth ship. Or a Sovereign, as, as we've just found out. Caden is uh, Lieutenant L LT, LC, Lieutenant Commander, or just Lieutenant. Everything is saying to pit Caden to rescue him. But I have forged bonds with Ashley. Oh god, and if I kill Caden, I'm not going to be able to find Rana. Or I will, and then I'll be able to turn around and go, Hey, that guy you love? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I killed him. And then Ashley, of course, her family continues having this negative reputation because of what her grandfather did. Which is horseshit. But I'm going to. Oh, God, I hate myself. Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA Tower. Yes, Commander, I. It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. I'm not going to say, of course, it was. No, you know what? I'm not just going to say I'm sorry, goodbye, this is just hold on. And when we get Ashley back, the first thing, I, if it's a choice, I'm coming back to get you. Stay alive. I'll be coming to get you too, Caden. I think we both know that's not going to happen, Commander. Oh. So where do I go? This way. <sighs> Come on, positive thinking. We're gonna be able to get it, get him out of this. There's gonna be some like renegade shit that we can pull that is just gonna be like, ah oh, yes, I've decided to just walk through the bomb and rescue him. Come on. Positive. Get Ashley back. Save some Salarians as well. Rex, I need you to shotgun things like you've never shotgunned things before. Speed. Absolute speed. We're going we through this. Fast, we yep. We are. Longer. We're going fast to get Caden as well. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Here he. Where was he? Sauron! Oh, we're taking you down, Sunshine. Should have brought a bigger gun. This has been an impressive diversion, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. You don't fall blind. No, you work for a Reaper. Let's, let's, now we've confirmed it. Sovereign and its kind destroyed the Protheans. What else is there to understand? You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? A submission not preferable to extinction? No. I mean, in some ways, like, if you've got no pride, then fair enough. Live under the foot. Live in submission. Some people, I believe, would rather be dead than submit in such a way. I'd rather die than live under the rule of those machines. Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. How can you be useful? They have the geth, the geth for things that are smaller in scale. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. I think it's already happened, but we'll we'll try and get some information out of you. Tell me about the Why Geth. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? Yeah. They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Right. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. I mean, I imagine the Geth are okay to be to be kept around because if, you know, a Reaper wanted to, I'm guessing they can just click their fingers being, you know, a massive machine and basically they'll switch off. Tell me why Sovereign needs the conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. You are indoctrinated. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Sovereign, I'm not going to ask him to join me. I'm going to put a bullet in his head like I promised Garrus. Sovereign will betray you. Don't you see? You're just a tool. Sovereign's using you. In the end, you'll be tossed aside with all the rest. Do you think you can sway me, Shepard? Do you think I haven't already thought of this? 
Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. There is that organics have the option of changing their minds. You were a specter. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. Oh, let's bring it on, sunshine. Come on, nice and quick. Let's try... Can I neural derp you on there? No, I can't. You seem to be... a little immune to that neural... particular brand of neural derp. I'm also dying with no shields. Come on, Silver Surfer. Ugh, not taking much damage there. Okay. Franks, get the fuck up! Oh shit, Turians are strong, man. <laughs> Take that in the faceplate. Get your ass back here. Is Ashley there? Did she make it out? Can we get to Caden? Come on. She's hurt. Good lad, come on. No, that wasn't us. No, 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 no. All right, everybody, hang on. I don't think Caden's going to be in Mass Effect 2. I can't believe Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? Because it was you or him. It's the perfect way of set. Oh, fuck off with the music. Oh. It was you or him. And I went against everything. Ruthless, happy to sacrifice. Apparently not. Ah, oh, shit. There was no time. I couldn't save you both. The bomb was about to go off. It should have been me, Commander. You know that. was my decision. I'd never leave you. That might be because of the romance option. I'm sorry, Ash. I'd never leave you behind. I couldn't. You know that. I know, and I'm grateful. But Caden died because of me. Because of us. Don't sacrifice. Yeah, this, this can't be a burden on you for the rest of your life. Ash. How far are you going to drive yourself? Are you trying to be a martyr? To redeem your grandfather's honor? That's not fair. Both. I don't want to lose you. What the public and the military did to him was unfair. But I don't want to lose you because of it. Aye, aye, Shepard. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but you I have an idea. shut up. 
I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. I'm willing to try. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. I really thought that planet looked lovely. Little tiny crab things, of which I only killed a few. Incredible. I... I never thought the images would be so... intense. I need a moment to collect myself. What did you did see? Did the vision make any sense to you? It's... a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the Conduit? There were other images. Locations. Places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The Conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. I don't give a shit. I've got a Krogan. He'll eat anyone that has a problem with me. The conduits are in Ilos, and that's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. I think it's the same as the last time she did it, so... Uh... We're done here. Dismissed. Go on. Commander, there's a comm buoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. <laughs> you know, to warn him about Sovereign. I'll tell them. Actually, that hurts just as much. Just hearing Joker's normally buoyant, cocky voice just dull and sombre. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. Krogan do not matter. Sovereign's the real problem here. The Reapers wiped out the Protheans. We're next. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. It's accurate. Sovereign's a reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports, the ones talking about your vision and the reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Oh. Don't be stupid. I tried to warn you about Saren. You didn't believe me then, and look how that turned out. I believe you humans have a saying. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. You know what? Because of Caden. Screw you. Here's another saying. Go to hell. Maybe we were wrong about you, Shepard. Maybe humans are too hot-headed to be specters. Enough. Commander Shepard has performed admirably so far. This discussion is only a minor disagreement. Oh, looks like we lost the signal, Joker. Understood, Commander. Ah. Uh. Ass holes, the lot of them. Well, let's uh, let's go see Joker. I guess he's uh, probably going to want to say something. Commander. I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Alenko and Williams must have been... 
I'm sorry, sir. I don't know if I could have done it. Why I'm in charge, so nobody else has to. Sometimes making the tough choice is the only way a mission can succeed. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Yeah, I mean, are you alright? Like, how are you doing? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry, I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. Hoorah. Yeah, it's, I guess that's part of it. That's part of being in charge, part of being the leader, is taking this heat, taking the flak, taking the responsibility for terrible, terrible decisions. And taking the blame yourself and shouldering the problem. Oh. That just hurts. We will go down and talk to Ashley, I think. And in doing so, I think we may uh, may come off after that <laughs> with an incredibly somber down oh Kirahi it was an honor working with you Commander Shepard despite the losses our mission was a success Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed his sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people I'll miss him Caden was a fine officer he knew what the risks were, but he did what he had to. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to work together again sometime. I hope you don't, because you have a 100% success rate of killing my people. Commander? Let's talk about Caden. About Lieutenant Alenko. How are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. It's not your fault in the slightest, and at the end of the day, I don't want a bunch of yes-men on my crew. Voice your opinions. Have a level of argument with me, but if I order you to do it, then you fall in line and do it. Williams, listen to me. I'm in command of this mission. I made the call, not you. He's dead because of me. Correct. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me, if you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Torfin? Oh, wow. Uh, they did their duty. That's a bit harsh. I grieved. Later, I vowed to do better. I don't want to say I vowed to do better because it made it look like that that decision was born out of incompetence. So I grieved, but later. I didn't stop and agonize over it while everyone else was in danger. We've got work to do, Williams. We'll remember him later. Yeah. A good guy like him must be with God now, huh? So, nothing to be sad about. He must be happier. Thanks for the advice, Skipper. Sure. God. What's your opinion on the last mission? We've got a hard fight ahead. Fleets of AI dreadnoughts who've exterminated all life dozens of times over. I think the odds are against us. Screw the odds. When it comes to the survival of humanity, who gives a rat's ass about odds? We're gonna fight them. Damn straight we will, Skipper. But I'm infantry. Against Reapers, my rifle may as well fire spitballs. I won't have a place in this war. Yeah. That's what pisses me off, not being able to shoot back. Well, not being funny, but that was one of the marks against you in terms we'll talk of... later, Williams. ...Caden and Ashley. Looking forward to it, Skipper. It's that you are a rifleman. You're a... an infantry... soldier. Against a Reaper? You ain't nothing. Whereas Caden runs part of the ship, has tech which could infiltrate and uh, blow up certain bits. Oh, oh, oh. Right. Well, we lost Jenkins. We lost Kahoku. 
And now we've lost Caden Elenko. I suppose it's a little bit harsh to ask whether or not we managed to find time to loot his corpse so that we could get the armour and weapons back. But I think we will end it there today. We have had a session. And it's going to take a little while, I think, for me to uh, not be so pissed off about that decision. I'm going to feel even worse if someone turns around and goes, Oh, well, actually, if you made this choice, you wouldn't have had to make that decision. <sighs> well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. And from me, CD Clive, and from the... Late Caden Elenko. Thank you very much for watching and have a fantastic week. Take care.